Hi guys, hope you're all keeping well. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on a new lure company I've been investing in. I've had my eye on them for quite a while and recently they've been doing some live streams on YouTube and you get to know a little bit about the bloke behind them and for the help of, for the quality of their products and helpful he's been to me I thought I'd uh, pull the plug and invest in some of his products and they are from FS Lures and it's Tom that's been the man behind them and I think they're fantastic. Now since I went out last time Xander fishing with Lures and I caught on the skirted jigs with like a crawl trailer that's what I wanted to try and go into a bit more. So these lures are specifically for Xander and Perch and I think they're fantastic so hopefully I thought I'd do this video just to get something out there and just to highlight another one of these companies, these little companies that are worth investing in. So I hope you like the products. So the one that caught my eye first was the beaver bug and it's these big trailer type bugs. Uh, the great thing and the thing that makes you keep on going back to his site is that he does custom lures so you can tell him what colours you want and the combinations are endless. Um, I'm not, I won't try and remember the exact colour of these, I'll put a, I'll do some screenshots and put them in a video so you can see what they're actually called but I'm a big favour of green. So what this one is, is a Lime Trues one and as you can see it's got ribs, got lots of ribs on, lots of things that can wave and you can do it yourself like this top part, you can pull these antennas off if you want and have them moving and you can also pull these apart so you've got lots of movement a nice big thick lure and I've got them in a couple of colours a more pale orange and green one and this is a custom one I got done I think it's like June bug with electric blue glitter as well as like a dark green and red glitter again it's like a creature bait and again custom made but it's a lot thinner profile these will rig well on one of the worms weedless hooks as you can see like there you'll have a big gap between the body and the hook which allows them to bite down if that's a lot a thing that you like to do in but i'll be doing them with like skirts probably and putting the jigs on it again standing still got a lot of movement got all these causing vibrations and they're absolutely look fantastic pink and green with blue glitter and and that that appeals to me so that looks good and he does do his own skirts as well and these are scented with garlic and i do read now you know there's a book this one's like a purple with electric blue glitter and you just rig them up i'll show you in a minute with what some of them rigged up so i've got the purple and the green and then Add them together and that's what they look like and you'll see later in the underwater in the bathroom tests how these work but I did try a couple of hooks I got some couple of hooks from AGM and this one is a stand-up hook and what I find with these ones are that they stand at like a, like a 45 degree angle whereas I'd want them more at 90 and like the normal Ned head rig type head makes them stand them a lot more upright so these would be the ones that I'll be going for. <coughs> he also does some little shads. This is a four inch version and I love this long thin tail, it gives a lot of action. And this is the green with purple glitter. I have ordered some more in the smaller sizes as well because I've been um, impressed with the way that these look. This hook was just to see what it looked like obviously with a if I was doing going to fish with this, I don't, I'd want the hook a bit further down. But they're great as well. He also does something called the fang. And this has like got a hollow top, which helps it make it buoyant. And they're also good to add in your own scent in. You can pour your own scent or flavour in there. And again, this will stand up. And these will wave around in the, in the little toe. Uh, ribs as well. So another great little model he's got. He also sent me some super finesse worms. Now I'd imagine that these would be more for drop shot, very thin, very light, 
So I haven't done much drop shotting, but I will give it a go sometime. And uh, these will be what I what I want. And what you can also do is like if you're getting baits nipping at you, you can also cut it down and do have it a little bit smaller. He mentions if you go to his live stream for uh, live stream number four video on YouTube. Um, again under FFS lures. If you go to 49 minutes and 30, it talks about um, his FFS, which is his version of the TIDs. And this is what they are. Again, you've got the hollow tip where you can add your own flavoring. And there's a boy. Now I haven't done, it's, it's been a bit, I've got to try these a bit more. And the way I'll probably do that is just take these out and nothing else. Cause I know a lot of people catch on them and a lot of good fish catch on them. But in my eyes, it's just a bit of straight plastic, but uh, it's something I'll definitely, definitely try and uh, have a good go with. But they are his favourite lures. So like I say, if you go to the live stream for FFS lures on YouTube, at 49 minutes and 30 seconds, he talks about them. And same stream, at 51 minutes 45 seconds he talks about the beetle crawl and this is what the beetle crawl is and it's like three lures in one he talks about how you can take this bottom path because they are done in segments you have like three segments there and if you take this bottom part off then you've got a smaller bait and you can keep that and use it as a drop shot i think he or even on its own I think he says and you can also take these claws off and then that gives you like a little drop shot something for the drop shot so that's three lures in one which is very good again a very thin body so if you're a type of person that likes to do things weedless then <coughs> with a weedless hook you've got that big gape there for the fish to bite down and that will help with your hookups right so in a minute i'll, I'll put on some footage of um what the lures look like underwater, as well as some screenshots from his shop page to do to give you the proper name and the colours and the colours he offers. Like I said, the combination of colours is what makes you keep wanting to go back. It does the stock lures where you just pick out what you want, but it's the custom build ones that make you just keep wanting to go back and keep doing different colour combinations and see what comes out. There are some other products that he does which I haven't mentioned, which I'll also show in a little bit but they're well worth working out and tom thanks for all the help and advice you've gave me in the past and hopefully when this lockdown's over we'll be able to go out and catch some fish on your great products so until next time tight lines so i'll start you off by showing this stand-up hook i thought it would stand up a lot more than this but as you can see they'll only stand up about a 45 degree angle and uh, i'd want it sticking up like 90 degrees and sticking onto the ned rig type hooks you can clearly see that they stand up a lot better so they're the ones i'll be using with all these probably so it's quite clear to see how much more that stands up and i think that's been more in a fish's face and you'll get a lot more take that way and now onto the action of the beaver bug Now come on to the fang, and the thing with the fang I like is that the two crawls just seem to be waving at you, and it was, uh, I was quite impressed with them. And next we'll come on to the beetle crawl, and the thing I liked about the beetle the beetle crawl was like the wavy action of the crawls. I wasn't really expecting them, but they like kind of twist and look quite very appealing. And like I said, this is like a three in one lure. You can chop this down, use it as drop shots, bite things off 
quite a versatile little boat this is. And then I try to imitate what it would be like on a drop shot as a whole. Yeah. And then next we have the Kraken. Like I say, I'm not quite sure if the Xander would be prefer a small profile or like the Kraken with a big profile like the beaver bug. But then at least I know I've got both and I've got both of them covered. And now we come on to the FFS. Now I just look at this and I think the action that the others had compared to this. Uh, it just, just stands there. I still can't figure out why a fish would want to take that, but I know they do, and like I said be said before, I will try and just take them out, but uh, I know they're very popular, but to me, they just look like just a actionless bit, bit of plastic. And then finally, we come on to the finesse fry. So I hope you enjoyed this video and to finish off I'll show you some screenshots from his web page of the colours that he does and all the products. Thanks for watching and see you next time.